that was a lot closer. That wasn't bad. That was a lot better, it was good. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In this video, we're gonna talk about Ella Rodriguez. She came in, she's an aspiring para-athlete. And you're gonna notice as we go through the video and we went through her training over the course of multiple days, many of the mistakes she was making are very common young thrower mistakes. So you're gonna notice how when we set up, we started talking with how she's setting up the path of her shoulders and arms and creating separation and stretch reflex and setting the angle. So specifically with her classification, it's gonna be super critical for her to be on top of the delivery leg axis. So we look at some of our Paralympians like Jeremy Campbell of the United States. So Jeremy Campbell has the same thing where he has a prosthetic on his right leg and that's gonna be the sweep leg delivery leg. So the problem with Ella's technique is that she was shortening the left side and then pulling herself off of her right leg. Now this is a problem for all throwers and especially if you have this classification it's going to be super critical to be on top of the axis to be able to create the rotation. That's how you create rotation. There, here, here, turn the foot to six. Well, now give me the band, knees apart, straighten your, get your foot like, okay so you got to get your foot extended. Here, bend, there, there. You feel that? Not bad, Just widen it out. Good, there we go. Head with the hips, there we go. Now, sweep the sweep leg, go. That was a lot better, okay? <laughs> Close, good. Now, see what you're gonna do, and again, so this is now exposing, so your dad can kinda see. So you're gonna notice as we go through the video and we go through the training, you're gonna see how like we we showed her how to set those positions better and now the hips were automatically coming through and you'll see that as we're going here, that the hips are starting to come through her stand throws much better than when she started, but she still has to learn the transition from the pillar three to pillar four. So when she's coming and sprinting into the middle, she inverts the high point and she pushes her shoulders back and that's causing her to fall off balance and come off of the delivery leg. Now, this this is a problem with a lot of young athletes, the inverted orbit, we've discussed things like that. So this all stemmed from how she's starting and what we talk about with the chain reaction is what you set up in pillar one and how you set up the chain reaction and how you set that up in various aspects of your throws training. So we did that and that issue of the left arm and shoulder path and movement will also affect how she's going to be able to activate her sweep leg. So we had multiple things pertaining to the left side entry axis of the lower body, the left arm path and action on the upper body, so her, her entry arm, balance arm, block arm, and then the sweep leg, delivery leg position. That was a lot closer, a lot more power. That was actually a lot better. Just wrapped up a uh, training weekend with Ella Rodriguez, young para-athlete, actually doing a lot of really good things, but like so many athletes, she just has not been really taught how the throw works correctly. And uh, she did an extremely good job because most of the changes for the classification really, they're, they're pretty minimal. It's really just understanding proper mechanics in the throw. She's really a driven young athlete, so she got a little harder on herself towards the end. And that's gonna be part of it. When you start out and you do things where you have bad habits, those bad habits have to be unlearned while you're learning new. That's always the trick. That's why it's so critical for everybody out there to learn the right way from the beginning. So if you're not following something that's keeping you on track, you know, you're going to improve slower. It's just kind of how it works. It's a very unnatural movement. It's an unnatural sport. So our system is always six pillars position training in every pillar, drills that train how the body moves in those positions, and throwing. And so we start teaching all the alignment, the rotation, the delivery side axis, the block side action and sequence, and how those things go together. We're looking at the orbit, we're looking at setting up the chain reaction, action, reaction. So set up short, wind short, throw short. So then we taught her how to set up long, wind long, throw long. And that's what hopefully you guys kind of see, and hopefully you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment comment below and we'll see you on the next video.